Hello, friends. Sleep Tight Stories, Sleep Tight Relax, and Sleep Tight Science are now available to play on Story Button, the device that makes it easy to listen to our shows and more without having to use a phone or tablet. This month, you can save $10 at storybutton.com when you use the code Sleep Tight. Story Button, the home of imagination. Hello, I'm Cheryl, and this is Sleep Tight Relax, a calming bedtime podcast for the young and young at heart. Hello, friends. Welcome to Mindful Monday. In this episode, we are going to start talking about going back to school. Before we begin talking about school, let's focus on becoming more relaxed. Choose a comfortable position get comfy, and take a few moments to focus on your breath. First, breathe in very slowly, and then simply let the air go. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Take your time. Nothing else matters at this moment. Be sure to inhale deeply and slowly for five long breaths. This gets our bodies relaxed and feeling great. As you breathe in, allow your belly to inflate like a balloon. Fill up your belly with your breath and then let all the air slowly escape as your belly becomes flat. The wonderful thing about breathing this way, by focusing on our breath, is that it helps us relax, no matter what is going on around us. And it's not only good for us, it feels good too. As the school year starts, or maybe it has started for you, let's try our own project. Every morning before you go to school, I would like you to take a moment to focus on your breathing and use your imagination to think of yourself having a really great and wonderful day. You are listening well in class, learning new and interesting things, reading great books, having fun, and remembering all the important things you have learned. Learning becomes so easy and fun. You can imagine how each day You are learning more and enjoying each and every moment. Think to yourself how happy you will be when you meet up with your friends and learn from your teachers. When we take the time each day to imagine a wonderful day You might be surprised to know that we do end up having a great day. 
having a positive attitude can cause positive things to happen. Having a positive attitude is fun and makes life interesting and exciting. Positive things are always happening to positive people because they always look for the good. We all want to be very positive in life. That magical day is coming, or for some of you, is already here. Back to school. How are you feeling? Are you nervous about going back to school? Are you excited about going back to school? Or maybe you feel a bit of both. I am always a bit nervous on my first day of school until I am in the classroom and I have met all the new people in my class. We slowly get to know each other and learn about the things that make each person special. One book I love to share on the first day of school is First Day Jitters by Julie Danberg. In this story, Sarah Hartwell is worried about her first day of school. She is new and she doesn't know anyone and nobody knows her. Sarah doesn't want to go to school and start over. Mr. Hartwell reassures her that she will love this school just as she loved her last one. Then Mr. Hartwell tells her that she has five minutes to get downstairs. So Sarah gets up and gets dressed. But the struggle goes on and on until Sarah finally gets to her school for her first day, and she meets the people there. Another great book for the first day of school is May's First Day of School by Kate Barraby. May has decided that she is not going to school. School is scary. What if the other kids don't like her? Her mother tells her about all the great things she will find there, and all May can think about is all the things that might go wrong. While May is hiding in a tree, she meets another girl who also does not want to go to school. They talk about why they don't want to go to school, and while they are up there talking, a tall lady comes up into the tree and says she is also not going to school. Miss Pearl eats cookies with the girls in the tree, and they talk about why they are not going to go to school. They realize they are all worried about the same things and decide to go to school together. There are lots of other books that talk about the first day of school, like Butterflies on the First Days of School by Annie Silvestro, when Rosie gets butterflies in her stomach on her first day. Or School's First Day of School by Adam Rex, and this one is told by the school. The school is nervous, about all the new things that are going to happen when school begins. I hope that you will remember if you are feeling nervous or have butterflies, that you can take a deep belly breath anytime you need to, and that will help you to feel more relaxed and calm. You've done a wonderful job listening 
and using your imagination today. You've learned how taking deep belly breaths can calm you at any time during the day. You visualized yourself being successful at school, and we've talked about how some people feel when they are going back to school. Now, let's take in one last deep breath, and when you're ready, take a great big stretch and know how fantastic each day at school and at home is going to be. Good night. Sleep tight. <laughs>